broken back curves are another type of horizontal curve which would have simple curves connected by a short tangent. Learn how this type of curve is computed here in engineering surveys. A broken back curve is characterized by two simple curves connected by a short tangent. This type of highway curve is not recommended in design since most drivers do not expect succeeding curves in the same direction. In the example where we are asked to redesign a broken back curve with a compound curve with a proportionality R2 is equal to 1.5 R1. Determine the new radii and the new tangents. Tangents and central angles of the simple curves are given including the distance of the short tangent joining them. Knowing the tangents, we can work on the curve distance by reflecting the tangents of each curve next to the short tangent. We are to replace the existing broken back to a compound curve. Adding the tangents, we get 375 meters, which is the actual curve necessarily covered by the compound curve. For the new compound curve, we would need to designate values to the new tangents. Say x would be the new tangent for the first curve, and y the new tangent of curve 2. Going back to the curve distance we earlier computed, we can equate the new tangents x and y to 375 meters. Next is to determine what are the x and y values, so from the formula of tangents, we can say that x is equal to the first curve's radius times tangent of delta 1 all over 2, or that is 30 degrees all over 2. Similarly, y would be radius 2 times the tangent of 20 degrees all over 2. So plugging these terms into the working equation, we get r1 times tangent of 15 degrees plus r2 times tangent of 10 degrees is equal to 375 meters. The proportion of the new radii is also provided in the given, saying that the first radius is equal to 1.5 of the second curve's radius. So by substituting it to the general equation, we arrive at 1.5 times r2 times tangent of 15 degrees plus r2 times tangent of 10 degrees is equal to 375 meters, which can then be simplified to 0 0.5782 times r2 is equal to 375 meters. Thus, we can solve for the second curve's radius as 648.56 meters. And by using this value into the given proportion, we get the first curve's radius as 972.85 meters. For the new tangents, simply complete the formula by plugging the values of the radii. So x, which is the tangent of the first curve, will be computed as 972.85 times tangent of 15 degrees, which would turn out as 260.67 meters. The second curve's tangent y is computed the same way, which is 648.56 times tangent of 10 degrees, giving us 114.36 meters.